Welcome everybody. Let's all stand in a circle. Hello everyone. How are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everyone. How are you? How are you today? Get ready to clap your hands. excited for today's session well today we have a story with a fish we're going to have a fun craft and lots of songs and then we'll join kerry at the end for some prayer i hope you have lots of fun bye it was a beautiful morning in galilee and jesus decided to take a walk along the shore of the lake the lake is so big that it is also known as the Sea of Galilee. Even today, it is a great place for fishing, and you will often see fishing boats out on the water. But as Jesus walked along the shore, he noticed two fishing boats that had been left on the beach. There were no fish in these boats, but the fishermen were busy washing their nets. It looked like they were giving up for the day. A crowd had started to gather around Jesus. So he got into one of the fishing boats and asked Simon, its owner, to push him out a little into the water. Jesus sat in Simon's boat and taught the people on the shore about the things of God. Jesus was a great teacher and people loved to listen to him. When Jesus had finished teaching them, he said to Simon, go and fetch your nets and let's take the boats back out into the deep water. Why, Lord? said Simon. To go fishing, of course, said Jesus. You're a fisherman, aren't you? Simon's face fell. He wasn't sure if he really was a fisherman anymore. They'd had a disastrous night's fishing last night. Simon said, Lord, we've been out all night trying to catch fish, and we haven't caught even one. We haven't even got any for breakfast. But as Simon looked at Jesus, something told him that he should just trust Jesus. Okay, he said, because you say so, I will try again. Simon got his crew together and they took the boats out once again across the Sea of Galilee. No one was really expecting to catch anything. They hadn't caught anything all night and now it was the middle of the day. Not the best time to go fishing. Once they were back into the deep water, they threw their fishing nets over the side of the boat. Just then, they heard a splashing sound in the water, and there was a tug on the nets. The net is caught on something, Simon said to his fellow fishermen. No, said Andrew, look, there's fish in the nets. The fishermen tried to pull the nets in, but they were so full of fish that their nets started to break. So they called to their fishing partners in the other boat. Come and help us, they said. We've got a huge catch. Between them, the fishermen pulled in the nets that were bulging with fish. Both boats 
was so full of fish that they began to sink. This was the greatest catch they'd ever had. Back on shore, all the fishermen were overjoyed with the amazing catch of fish. But amazed by what had happened, Simon couldn't take his eyes off Jesus. Jesus said to Simon, Bringing fish into your boat is important to fishermen, but it's people that matter to God. Follow me, and I'll teach you how to fish for people and bring them into God's kingdom. Just one Whoop. Say hello means another fish has come One little fish Swimming in the sea Splishing and splashing Rocking to the beat Here comes another fish Whoop. Say hello Two little fish Swimming in a row Two little fish Swimming in the sea Splishing and splashing Rocking to the beat Here comes another fish Whoop. Say hello Three little fish Swimming in a row Three little fish Swimming in the sea Splishing and splashing Rocking to the beat Here comes another fish Whoop. Say hello Four little fish Swimming in a row Four little fish swimming in the sea, splishing and splashing, rocking to the beat. Here comes another fish, whoop, say hello. Five little fish swimming in a row. Five little fish swimming in the sea, splishing and splashing, rocking to the beat. Five little fish swimming in a row. Let's wave goodbye, cause whoop, there they go. Let's wave goodbye, cause whoop, there they go. Let's. Wow, little seeds, did you enjoy that? What an amazing story where the fishermen went out and they caught nothing. Then Jesus told them to go out again and they caught so many fish. So today we're going to do a craft about fish. So first, shall I tell you what we need? We need paper plates. We need some blue paint. And um, perhaps, I well, I couldn't find a paintbrush, so I cut up a sponge. So this is a sponge that I've used today. And we need some coloured paper, some different coloured paper. We'll need some scissors, but please remember we need an adult's help to help us with the scissors. We are going to need some sellotape. And I couldn't find string, which I would have loved to have used string, but I, could, I had pipe cleaners. So, first of all, what we need to do is create our sea. So, with the paper plate, let me pour some of my paint on here. Oh, there we go. I'm running out of paint. I love painting. So, I put my sponge, I've dipped it in, and what I'm going to do is smudge my paint all over my plate. You can dab. I like dabbing. Or you can swirl it around so it looks very much like the sea. All the way around. And there we go. Can you see? That's my blue paper plate. So from there, you'll need to put it to one side because this will need to dry. So if I place it down, and then next, we are going to need to do some fish. So I'm cheating a little bit, and I'm putting all of my colours of paper together, like so. And then I'm going to draw a fish. So let me draw you a fish. If you need some help, why don't you ask your brothers or your sisters, or mommy or daddy, nanny or granddad, whoever can help you. And look, I have drawn, can we see? I've drawn two fishes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them out. Are we ready? Remember, you'll need help for this, or you could use your child scissors. Let's cut it round, cut, 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 cut. 
See, I'm being very careful and I'm looking what I'm doing. I'm making sure that my fingers aren't too close. So mommies and daddies, you may need a little bit of help here. So you're going to need to cut lots and lots and lots of fish for this. Let's go round and round. And there we go. Look, can you see? I have, well here I have four fish, but I have four there and I have four more there and I would cut a lot more than four because remember the net was really full wasn't it? So it didn't just have four fish, it didn't just have eight fish, it had lots and lots and lots and lots. So now we need to make the fishing net. So with our paper plates what we'll need to do is get string or pipe cleaner and we need to fold it over the plate like this. Can we see? And then I'm going to get another one like so and I'm going to fold it over again. So I'm going to fold it over and I'll get another one and I'm going to fold it over again. Now you do this about four times. Can we count? One, two, three, four. And then we will need to turn it over and secure the back with some sellotape. So secure all the back, all the sides, so then you get to see something looking a little bit like this. And then we're going to need to make it look more like a net. And we're going to need lines going down. So here's some that I've done earlier. Are you ready? Oh, look. Do you like my fishing net? But look, I'm one missing. So what I need to do, I've got another pipe cleaner. And I tuck it over the top, wrap it round like so. Take it all the way to the bottom. Fold it under. Then I'm going to get some more sellotape like this and stick it to the back. So there we have already our fishing net that's in the deep blue sea. Can we see? So now what do I need? I need the fish that we cut. And we are going to fill up our nets of all the fish. Oh, you can cut lots and lots. Look I have, I've cut more than eight. Ready? Whoa! today's craft is the sea, the deep blue sea, with the fishing nets all full of fish. So why don't you give it a try? You could decorate each fish too. You don't just have to cut them out, you could use lots of glitter. You could do lots more things with this. So why don't you get crafting, take a picture and send us a picture. And we would love to see them. We love all your creations. So enjoy and let's go to the next thing. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,
amazing session today how Jesus told Simon to go back out and catch more fish would you have thought that you would be able to catch more fish when you have spent all night trying to catch fish and your nets were empty but he looked at Jesus and he knew something was really special so he knew to trust him so what did he do he went back out <gasps> and what happened he caught absolutely loads of fish, that much that the nets nearly broke. Oh, how amazing was that session? And you know, so all we need to do is put our trust in Jesus and Jesus can show us the way. And I loved it that then all they did was they followed Jesus. And you know, we can follow Jesus too. So shall we pray? Shall we pray? Close our eyes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love. Help us to follow you and help us to love others like you love us. And Father God, help us also to be disciples so we can tell others all about you, Jesus. And we pray this in your mighty name. Amen. I hope you enjoyed today's session. See you next week. Stop!